Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Naji Hatipi Harun from School of Biology presenting this video for BOI 401 Scientific Writing. The title for my presentation is The Role and Importance of Benthic Fauna in Mudflat Area. Benthic fauna are organisms that can be found in aquatic environment and can be divided into three types with three different sizes. Microfauna, meiofauna, and macrofauna. It has different feeding mode, life cycle, and has different temporal distribution. In this video, the role of benthic fauna will be explained to understand the impact and importance of the soft sediment communities towards the health of mudflat ecosystem. I will also explain some of the adaptations they apply for when changes in their environment happen. Mudflat is one of the most productive ecosystems in the world, but it often lacks vegetation or at least some parts are vegetated, but only by thick biofilm of microphytobenthos or microalgae such as found in the famous intertidal mudflat of the Warden Sea. The intertidal sediment are also anoxic due to the constant tide action that causes the sediment to be unstable and low in oxygen. There are many importance of mudflat. But this video, I will only explain four of it. One, carbon sequestration. The coastal mudflat has the potential of storing lots of carbon as well as promotes nitrogen flux. Second, mudflat can provide coastal protection. The fine grain sediment along the coastline act as a barrier to guard the coast by retaining water effectively against damaging wave eroding the inland. A natural producer such as cyanobacteria help prevent erosion by producing substances to let sediment particles to stick and thus increasing the stability. Next, it can be a foraging ground for migratory birds. Flocks of shorebirds migrate from north to south for nesting and feeding during low tide along the tidal flat due to the high availability of prey. In the Warren Sea, tidal flats get visited by nearly 12 million birds. Lastly, mud flats support coastal biodiversity and not just benthic organisms but all sorts of commercially, commercially important fish and crustaceans. The feeding mode includes surface deposit feeders, subsurface deposit feeders, borrowers, scavengers, suspension feeder, and filter feeders. Spinoid polychaetes are an example of successful deposit feeders that uses their strong pharynx to feed. Borrowers such as tiny soft body crab often found in shallow zone of tidal flat using uh, having a symbiotic relationship with other marine invertebrates. Scavengers such as snails consume dead organisms that help in decomposing organic matter along the way. They are also important in bringing back the nutrient to environment because the constantly wet environment slowing down decomposition by bacteria in the area. Gastropod, bivalve, polychaetes, worms and diatom are some of the major groups which was found abundant in marine mudflats as identified in a few studies. One of the most common role of benthos is that they are able to become bioindicators to assess environmental changes. Foraminifera are one of the famous bioindicators because they are able to monitor water pollution in water bodies which help us to understand why certain things happen like fish dying, reduced in amount, and more. For example, near the shore of Teluk Bahang and Teluk Aling, where human interaction with seawater are often, they found out Fora millifera species was abundant. It turns out the water bodies are polluted and contain high organic matter, muddy, and hyposaline. Benthic fauna activities are also geochemically important, such as bioirrigation process that mix sediment and water up and down a burrow or a tube. Moreover, not only providing oxygen, soft sediment communities also indirectly involved in biogeochemical processes. They help in nutrient enrichment such as the movement by worms 
and bivalves when they move vertically across the sediment layer as mentioned before they bring and mix nutrient from the surface into the bottom sediment increasing nutrient availability as a consequence of aerobic metabolism at oxic burrow and tube walls it has been shown that nitrification and denitrification are also enhanced they are also believed to be natural stabilizer for the tidal flood and participate in the food web benefiting others other than their ecological role and economically important benthic fauna are also important because they are dominant groups occupying the soft sediment they can survive in harsh environment and plays a major part of secondary productivity the ecosystem services nature has given us will be lost the benthos will be affected but it will definitely give a bigger impact towards other animals that feed on these groups sometimes the removal of keystone species can start a chain reaction where some population will be in risk of extinction in the affected area in conclusion the negligence and the lack of understanding are believed to be the problem for much black areas under pressure due to urban development and excessive aquaculture activities more people need to understand the importance of mud flat and the community and the communities living in it so it could continue giving human various ecosystem services that is all from me najiha thank you very much